These days, Gangnam Chan is all the rage. Thinking of talking about the Gangnam Chan story. Uh, Gangnam Chan is commonly known as a general, but in reality, Kua, he was an exceptional literary scholar. He was also a top ranking literary official. You all know, right? In our history, it's pretty significant. He is a famous general who achieved great victories and hence became well known. He is now the protagonist of a drama beginning with the chronicles of Gang Gam Chan. The spirit of Gang Gam Chan. First name. So the name was changed to Gang Gam Chan. And the previous name was Gang Un Chion. This week's person. Where is it now? That's the gold in Gyumchen district, Seoul. Of course, the area it we're talking about this. isn't the Gyumchen district of today. I see. The territory of Goryeo at the beginning of its establishment was probably much more than Gyumchen Gu now. It must have been vast. This week's other name is Sihong. Mr. Since Miss. the era of Goryeo Xiangjong, this area has been nicknamed Sihong. Is called. So it spreads to areas like Sihung Guon, a wide area like this, which means he was born somewhere here. But uh, when talking about Gangam Chan, we must make sure to check. Uh, there's something to do. Uh, as for his birth year, wow. it is 1031. You die. And then around 80. Well, never mind. So it means he was 84 years old. Then how Not do we subtract 84 from 1031? Next. 4 plus 1. And this is because we usually add 1 to our age. It's because it is so. Now that way they're considered a year old as soon as they're born. He's born and when it dies. Supposedly he lived to be 184 years old. Which means if you add 1 to 1031 minus 84. He was born in the year 948. It turns out that it's called Kang Gam Chan. This explanation is always uh, followed by the issue of Kang Gam Chan's age. So it's clear he was born in 948. Well, starting with this, this it seems uh, we need to think about it and move on. This is Lee First, Yon. everyone knows about the birth of Kang Gam Chan. Mm. There is a story, a story of a falling star, isn't it? An envoy arrived in Sihungun in the middle of the night to deliver a message to the world and saw a great star falling towards Imga. Send someone to find out Thank what's in watching. This envoy thinks to himself, wow, this is truly strange. This marks him as a significant figure. A child has been born, perhaps this is a premonition. Now, I th uh, that's why I brought this child back and raised him. And he was none other than Gang Gam Chan. The king sends an official to the provinces by picking up a person. And this official is also called an envoy. Therefore, the photo that comes out at this time is, he is not from China, but an official dispatch from the capital, Seoul, uh, to the provinces. And he came to Sihung County. Sihung County, right where I mentioned Gamjo, right here, witnessed a strange scene, a very special scene. It's like a star falling into a house that had none. Doesn't it seem like a picture where stars have entered someone's home? And then a child was born. So who is it? This child is exactly that. It's a star, you know. So this child is going to be something great. And that's the part we've been missing. Uh, we took this child uh, and went to Seoul. So Gangam Chan is now where Naksungdai is located. Born in Sihang County, but doing well. Grew up in the background. Now, regarding the childhood of Gang Gam Chan, there's just one sentence. He loved studying from a young age and had many brilliant strategies. But don't you think people who become great later in life are all like this when they are young? It makes one wonder how advanced medical science was back in the day. So this is just a trivial matter to pass on. And the next story is a historical fact, selected as the top scorer in the civil service examination during Xiong Zhong's reign. This story comes up. So, uh, being selected as the top scorer in the civil service examination during Xiong Zhong's reign means this, but what is this story about? Another part of the history of Goryeo says, 
a record of the past, either of a bird or of oneself, carried out in the middle. If you look in a place called the left election district in the year 983, the second year of King Xiongzhong, in December, there is a civil service examination hosted by Choi Seng Ro. From here, mm. Kang Gam Chan was selected as the top scholar. But here's the important part. At that time, Kang Gam Chan was 36 years old. When I was young, he was then led by his own hand to Seoul, where he stayed for 36 years. Having continued studying in Seoul, he topped the civil service examination. This is the record over 36 years. He liked studying and had many excellent qualities. It seems like this is the only sentence we have now. At the age of 36, I passed the civil service exam. When is the next record coming out, you ask? He was promoted several times and became Yebo Silwang, it says here. The period when Gangam Chan was Yebo Silwang is... The year is 1009, issued the exam in 983. The record of being employed due to failing the civil service examination appeared a whopping 26 years later. So there are records for these 26 years again. There's nothing. A record of 36 years before passing the exam. There's just one record of having failed the civil service exam in the past and then no records for another 26 years. So if you combine them front and back, what's with the missing records for several years? There's no record for 61 years. The Gangam Chan we know is all about his life after 61 years old, stories after he turned 61. At 61 is the age for a traditional Korean celebration of the 60th birthday. We only know about Gangam Chan who surpassed this age mark. It's quite rare. If someone passed the civil service exam at 36, you could say it's a bit late compared to others. Uh, but to do so after the age of 61, Starting to make a name for yourself, that's very uncommon. So, is this a mistake with the age, huh? So, before I start telling the story, it's also reasonable to doubt. Ensuring the birth year of Gang Gam Chan. They confirmed it and then started. About the invasion of you in the annals of Gang Gam Chan, a record appears. It's from this point that concrete and detailed records about Gang Gam Chan begin to emerge. Instead of directly translating as Kitan Emperor, the term Kitan Ruler is used in the history of Goryeo. The term is noted as Kaitan Ruler, which translates to our language like this. God led the division to attack the sunset. This was the second encounter with the Kitan. It's luxury and weakness. At that time, Kitan Seongjong personally led his army to invade Goryeo. Right. Upon receiving reports that our forces were defeated, the army led by Kangjo at this time, they were defeated. Upon receiving this report, many officials discussed surrendering. It's going to be harder to fight. That's what was judged. Then suddenly, Gang Gam uh, Chan they appear. However, Gang Gam Chan said, alone. Today's incident is not our concern as the fault lies with Kang Jo. This needs some explanation. It says that Kang Jo assassinated King Gong Min. The Kitan invades Goryeo. It was a justification. Why this becomes the justification for the invasion is because the previous King Mok had faced. Since we received a tributary appointment from the perspective of the Kitans, it's our tributary king. One cannot arbitrarily kill or discard. I have the duty to protect that king. This allows me to make such a claim. So, at this time, the reason for the Kitan's invasion of Goryeo was because of Gangjo's border defense. Gangjo had died, fought against the Kitan and was captured. That's why Gang Gamchan is saying this. Today's fault lies with Gangjo, so there's no need to worry. Why? Because Gangjo is already gone. Since he died, it means there's no justification for continuing the war. It's a very moon-like judgment. And this judgment was not so wrong, nor was the reason to continue the war gone. That's true, but it's difficult to respond with a small number of splinters right now. Literally a penalty for overloading. Avoided the enemy's momentum and slowly found a way to revive. We must take action. This is a polite way of saying, let's flee. It suggested to the king 
to take refuge to the south. Hearing this phrase, that night, the king, a few people, and the Yurchin army, the king's royal guard, along with about fifty others, escaped Seoul. This was a, a far more desperate situation than King Seonjo's refuge during the Imjin War. Mm. Only fifty soldiers followed. Mm. This moment marks the first record of. Kang Kam Chan playing a significant political role. The king was advised to flee south. At this time, it said that the army led by the Kitan Emperor Cheng Zong was engaged by the guards, including cavalry. They were four hundred thousand gathered. All the Koryo soldiers in a place called Tongju, Seong Jong's Kitan army fought. And at that time, Kang Jo's army numbered three hundred thousand. What do you think will happen when? Four hundred thousand and three hundred thousand gather in one place. Three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. I'm not sure if you can believe this. Well, anyway, uh, the record goes like this: On December ninth, Sokyong fell, and on December twenty eighth, Yun Jong was shot, escaping. We're heading south, and a few days after that, January first, one thousand eleven. That day in Gaegyeong, is being captured. One thousand. Just like we write our social security number on January first, two thousand eleven. Eleven hundred. The date turns out to be January first, o one o one, when the fortress fell. And. Hyun Jong departed from Daejeon in January. On the 13th of the month, he arrived in Naju, and on the way to Naju, Hyun Jong continued to send people to negotiate with Kitan's Seong Jong. Uh, there's a name we should remember here. Yes, Ha Gong Jin. For both Seong Jong and the Kitan, the justification for continuing the war had significantly weakened. In that case, how effective was Korea's diplomacy? What are you focusing on? Giving Song Jong a reason to return. This is where we focus giving this justification. How is the justification given? If the Kitan army returns, if the Goryeo power returns, Guk Kwang Hyun Jong himself went all the way to the Kitans. I'll meet Song Jong. This is a bit weaker than saying I will surrender. Mm. It's more like saying I will consult. I guess to greet such a conversation. So now that King Seong Jong of Goryeo has promised to come, it's enough to move the troops. This is how it gained a reason to turn back. Starting from January twelfth, the Kitan army began to withdraw. That's all for this part. The situation of the Goryeo Kitan War falls into the category of pragmatic history. Detailed information about um, Goryeo's foreign relations part two can be found here. So please take a look. We'll briefly pass over it here. Gang Gamchan truly received recognition for his efforts. If he had surrendered, it would have been a disaster, right? The king really struggled as he went south. When the king abandoned the capital and fled, it's called Mong Jin. The phrase "dust will return to dust" means exactly that. Hyun Jong really lived up to this saying, and went all the way to Naju covered in dust. I told you then. On the way to Mongjin, even encountered robbers. It's certain uh, that people think it's all thanks to Gang Gamchan. So Gang Gamchan was recognized after this war ended. Gukcha was first made a criminal, then rose to Hanlim scholar Sungji and left mountain flag officer. There is a record that it was moved in the annals of General Gang Gamchan. The third invasion by the Kitans happened, making Gang Gamchan remembered as a great general. This war occurred then. When when the Leo invaded, it was said they had a hundred thousand troops. Heavy rain warning, because they say it's a hundred thousand of us. You wouldn't know unless you count. Probably a kind of psychological warfare rather than a physical. You know, one. saying we have three thousand rather than ten thousand helps us gain the upper hand initially. So let's say we have a hundred thousand, one million. This seems to have some scale even for a lie. It's because there are rules. Generally. I wonder if this is exaggerating about ten times. Well, anyway. Speaking of a hundred thousand, the epidemic is spreading at Seoul. Seoul Seoul. Back then, Kang Gamchan was Bonna, the acting military commissioner. The northwest side, now Pyongan province. He was a military commander of the usual dispatch there, and then the king appointed Kang Gamchan as a high general, assisted General Kang Min Cheong. Crossing Min-Chiong. the desert of numbers. Mm. 
with 208,300 troops. And here, if we say 20,000 leading, you might say 20,000, but it was said to be 208,300. So this number, I can't help but believe touching these military forces. Uh, the Lord, the Lord is now right south of the Chingchun River. It's a city uh, called Anju, and it's the northern part of Korea, appearing every time a war breaks out in a military city stationed here. Then Damchan Kang sent troops to a place called Hyunghwa Jin, right below the Yalu River. In the past, there was a place next to Sinuiju called Uiju, where around 12,000 cavalrymen died. Like a storm. Ambushed them in the valley. Behind the big fairy tale line. So on a bamboo mat. Blocked the muddy water on the east side and waited for them. Is a reenactment of the Battle of Salsu by Ulji Mundyuk. It was the same tactic. When the enemy approached, they unleashed floodwaters and ambushed, leading to a major defeat. So the vanguard of the Kitan army, that was a victory for us uh, right there. It's what they call the Battle of Hyung Wajin, but despite this defeat, the main force of the Liao army kept on. Brings down a dawn, leading an army little fairy. They advanced to Gayong Song. Gayong Song is now known as Gaegyong. In Hyung Wajin, we won, but the defeated Liao troops continued to move down to Daegyong, just like that. That's what it is. At that time, Kong Min Chom, Vice Admiral, uh, Commander Min Chom Kang Yel, charge. To you. This is Pyongan Namdu, Sonchen, where they defeated the Kitan army again. The participation in the battle leave, decapitating the Kitan army in Matan, was which class? And um, if it's about 10,000 here, it seems like the initial invading Kitan army would be less than 100,000, right? Should we believe this number when we doubt all others? Or is it that the stretch neck was which level, making it 10 times as much. Could it have been a surprise? There are several calculations that could be made. The place called Matan is now Pyongyang. From all around, it's said that Goryeo forces achieved victory over the Kitan. Yet, so the Kitan army kept pressing on, eventually reaching Gaegyong. It seemed that from here, what kind of battle was there? It seems likely that the Goryeo army was near uh, Daegyong when the Kitan forces approached. General Gang Gamchen, the military judge Kim Jong Hyun, known as, led 10,000 soldiers and quickly entered Daegyong to defend it. So, where was Kang Gamchen stationed until now? They were set for, stationed in Yongju, position south of the Cheongjon River, overseeing everything. He was commanding an army saying Kyung was in danger, so now he was taking the army he had. Sent 10,000 troops to defend Gaegyong and Lee Geo on the northeastern front. It was around the north and northeast, an army that was outside of Gang Gam Chan's immediate surroundings. They sent 3,300 soldiers to Daegyong. This is Lido Kyung from NBC Combining the two, about 13,300 people came to defend Taishul. In this battle, the Goryeo army successfully repelled the Kitan's attack. Upside down, the Goryeo army, having failed in their attack, turned their troops uh, around. Isa Kang Gamchan launched a surprise attack and captured more than 500 ships. And then... During their retreat, the Goryeo army crossed Gyeongsang province in February, where the well-known Battle of Gyeongsang took place. This is what happens. Kang Gamchan and others fight the Kitan army at a church to the east of Gyeongju. The battle was undecided and then Kim Jong-hyun came with his troops. Those troops were... That army, the one Gang Gamchan had sent down to defend Gekyong, was from Gekyong. Chasing the Kitan army to the north, it was coming along, but suddenly a storm blew from the south to the north. Was this in the year 1019? It's January. In January, the wind generally blows from north to south. It was when the north wind was blowing. Kim Jong-hyun was chasing the Kitan army from the south, trying to fight back in Geju. But then the wind direction changed. The wind changed from south to north, making the flags point to the north. Doesn't the idea of a qualifying match come to mind? 
Such an event also happened in Guizhou. The Allies turning their back to the wind, charged with courage multiplied by a hundred, reviving the Khitan soldiers, started fleeing north. Our forces pursued them, crossing Seokchen to Baliong. Bodies covered the fields with captured prisoners, slaves, horses, camels, armor, and weapons. Only a few thousand who went to war returned alive, marking Goran's defeat as unparalleled. This is the record of the Battle of Kuchu. So, Gangamcham prepared for the great victory at um, Guizhou. Naturally, when this happened, one's age would have increased by two years. After this record, the history of Goryeo adds the following statement. He heard the news of withdrawal and was so furious that he sent a messenger to Xiao Sun saying, I underestimated my enemy. Invading deep into enemy territory to this extent. How dare you face me? I will flay your face before killing you. Uh, thus it was said. Now the great defeat of the Khitans is confirmed here. But then in the records of the Khitans, it says this. It doesn't exist. Defeat is defeat. But from the Khitan side, well, that's questionable. Either they didn't want to record the truth or the Goryeo side exaggerated this victory. Or it could be both. Now, here's one thing. Confirmation. There's an important question. Was the general who was defeated by Gang Kam Chan So Son Ryong, instead of calling it So Son Yong, they say So Pai Hap. So what's the relationship between So Son Yong and So Pai Hap? To answer your question first, it is a record error and Sobayap is correct. And what is the relationship between So Sun Yong and Sobayap? Sobayap is So Sun Yong's older brother. Now, these records about the two people are detailed on the Goryeo side but exist on the Khaitan side. It's a historical record, chronicles. According to the chronicles, there is a biography Thank of you. Sobaya here. It means it's like this Sobaya is. That's right. It signifies Lots a person. Lots of today's yes. Inside, it's a hand. As I mentioned, the belief of the Kitan was that they were from the royal family. The royal family were descendants of Yalusigo, and this includes those of Sopayap. Yosa evaluated this way, having many strategies and skilled in knights riding horses and shooting arrows, so to speak. Uh, Hello. He is considered a great general because he was good at fighting and had strategies. In the year 1004, during the war between Koryo and the Song dynasty, they made something called the Treaty of Alliance in that battle. Sobyeop led the Bohai army and fought with the Song. Mm. A battle took place. Before that, Balhai was destroyed and the Balhai army entered Kitan, leading this army to fight with Song. Once the alliance with the former Yan was established, the northern wealth Kitan had a system of northern and southern administrations and he became the prime minister of the north. So he was quite recognized for his achievements. The records continue like this. He also participated in the invasion of Goryeo in the year 1010. Goryeo was attacked by Emperor Songjong of the Kitan. When there was a direct attack at that time, the small unit also participated in the battle. That's why thousands of positions were offered at the Daegyeong command. All these thousands. It was a soldier's share in Goryeo. They learned thousands of military tactics. Entering Gaegyeong and plundering Gaegyeong is also the work of this small ship. At that time, Gaegyeong burned down completely. Now, Daegyeong has no king and so on. Really, the Goryeo soldiers entered a place with no owner and plundered it. And the protagonist is exactly this small ship. But in the year 1018, the defeat in Guizhou is recorded like this. Let me translate this classical Chinese text for you. Gorye was invaded again. Upon reaching Daegyong, that road, fled and scattered, leading the army to return plundering. It's a bit different from the facts. They recorded it their way for convenience. The truth involves the background. They couldn't initiate an attack, but returned defeated, yet the record state they returned plundering. Da, ta, iha, ta, ha, ta, ha. These names are written like this, but it's gone. Well, it is... It's not confirmed. 
when crossing this river the enemy firing arrows so Pai Yap abandoned his armor and fled so I became a government official because of this matter they've recorded it very calmly like this stories like thousands remaining or Xiong Zhong flaying my face skin will not be told probably mm, to minimize this shock, facts are muted like this nowadays, calling it massaging. That's how it's recorded. That's right. The third invasion by the small coalition ended in defeat and retreat, which is clearly stated. The history of Goryeo continues to refer to it as So Sun Hyong. Then... So what happens to So Seon Yong? So Seon Yong is the younger brother of So Bai Yap. Now it's Hangdok. His name is Xiao Hangde and his courtesy name is Sun Ying. When we talk about names and pseudonyms, Sun Ying is his courtesy name, but we more commonly know him as So Sun Yong. He becomes a prince consort by marrying the daughter of Emperor Jing Zong of the Kitan. The emperor's son-in-law, uh, this person came to Goryeo during the first invasion. It's simply recorded behind the Sobak Mountain Star Festival that So Song Yang is his younger brother. But what does it say here? It says it's so Bei Yap. That's because Goryeo did not surrender at that time. There's Handok and Sanyom. Following the emperor's command, leading an army, he plundered that fortress. Wang Chi is the name of Seongjong. Seongjong of Goryeo, intimidated, sent up a tribute. Order the Hanbok. It is written like this. This is also false. Goryeo fought a decisive battle with the Liao. And at that time, Goryeo never surrendered. Now, in their own way, mm. the record says um, they submitted a petition to surrender. So we should read this history with caution. Conversely, we must read our Goryeo history carefully. It applies equally uh, contrasting these two opposing records to find the historical truth somewhere in between. We need to find it. Thus, victorious Kangamchan was greeted by the king himself at Yongpai Station, offering prisoners and spoils of war. Mm. Yongpai Station is it's, it's a place called Ubong, quite a distance to the northeast from Gyeonggye. The king came all the way there to welcome Gangamchan, tying silk to the pavilion. Preparing for school with generals and for soldiers, the warriors, they threw a feast. A flower made of gold. And personally pins eight items into General Gang Gamchan's hair. Ah, the king does this himself. In the old days. It's a very rare occurrence. Imagine the immense joy this brought. For Goryeo, how fortunate this victory was. You can, you can guess this. It doesn't end here. The king grabs General Gang Gamchan's hand with his left hand and... With his right hand, he holds a wine cup, never stopping his words of praise and admiration. In this drama, Sa said such scenes should be well portrayed. Don't do this if you can't handle the intensity. It was a resignation. Finally, the, Seche, the station's name was changed to Hyung Station, previously known as Yonpa Station, now referred to as Uiga Hungan Station. The station's name was changed to Hung Station, and kindness was extended to the workers there by bestowing official titles hat, hat, and great coat, belt. This means official attire. It was made similar to Juhyeon's ceremony in Haisa. The clever and reigning Goryeo's King Simon once told a story about something called stations, which include fragrance places, rich valleys, battle stations, and long walls. This place is inhabited by uh, mediocrities, and jung -ho living here is like the general protagonist, jung -ho. It's different. It means eliminating such discrimination and treating everyone equally like Juhyeon me. How happy he must have been to, to award such a prize to this place. In fact, this location had done nothing. It was merely the king's, just for the reason that he met General Kang Gamchan there. That became a special privilege. Now General Kang Gamchan has achieved victory and I have done my part. Kang Gamchan submitted a petition. Although he requested, um, requested to retire citing his age, which was 72 at the time, it was not permitted. He was asked to continue. But generally, when people reach the age of 70, no matter how high their position, they retire from their office. 
This is called euthanasia, mm -hmm. but if uh, euthanasia is not permitted, the king has medical duties. What are they? I'm giving you something called a monster. It says chair with arms. It means poor because you're elderly, work comfortably like this, sitting down, and they give you a cane. Ears and intuition. So I was ordered to take a break and only come to work once every three days. You don't have to come out every day. That's why he granted an audience and ordered to report only once every three days. And now they are adding something more to the treatment. Promoted to higher positions, adding titles such as sword instructor, grand commandant, minister of culture, minister of Eastern affairs and the state of peace, and an increase of 300 households in the national reconstruction of heavenly longevity. And they did so. Bestowing the title the... of loyal and meritorious subject. Hello. This oh. requires a very um, complex and difficult explanation. So let's talk about it separately when we have a chance, but it's not common. Then Gangam Chan said, indeed, it's not going to work. Even once every three days is difficult. So uh, next time he submitted his resignation again and the king approved it, receiving a special promotion and a salary of 501. Added more emphasis on it. So I, I retire at the age of 73. They call this resignation a shameful act, I told you. Keep pressing the pressure point at 73. One Even soon? after resigning, he wasn't just idly staying at home, suggesting something about national affairs. This is what it has come to. Now you've become a senior statesman of the country. There's no fortress in our capital because of Gangam Chan. We must attack at dawn and ask to build a fortress. So the king ordered a man named Wang Gado to do so. He ordered the construction of a fortress. The wall surrounding this great city, we call it the outer wall. It happens like that. And you can even get promoted while you're retired from public office. Died at 73, right? Records show that he was appointed as cultural minister 10 years later at 83. But what this means is that he didn't actually go to work as the cultural minister. The position was posthumously bestowed. This means that it has become from a minister of national defense to a minister of culture and ceremonies. And at the age of 84, the Okchung ascended to the throne with the three positions of Dubu, Dong and Sa being appointed for the restoration of virtues and loyalty and the promotion of peace and honor. After the founding of the country, the merit officer was promoted to a special sword and retired from the government office, urgently appointed as a Cheon Ho. This is about spreading it evenly in light and shade. Then I'm such a great person. We will explain each one in detail next time. After this, he died a few months later at the age of 84. Suspended inquiries for three days and posthumously titled as In Hyun, ordered the officials to attend the funeral and offer condolences. Investigation part increase, investigation part increase. Brain, liver and tumors follow the examples set by the market's courtesy. Something like it this. Ends with the record. And then after that, the envoys. The reputation follows. This messenger's review is, that's what it is. How deep is the love of the heavens for the people? Sending forth renowned sages beforehand whenever a national disaster is about to strike. In the years of Gihyun and Gyeongsu, that is in 1909 and 1910, traitors plotted a rebellion and powerful enemies invaded, causing sorrow and turmoil. In the chaos, the fate of the nation was at stake. Without Gang Gong at that time, it's hard to say how the country would have been governed. Gong entered, participated in the conspiracy and went out to take charge of the expeditions, pacifying the emperor and unrest, restoring peace, thereby preserving the ancestral temples and the lives of the people. If it weren't for the heavens having empowered this person to prepare for these people's calamity, who else could have done so? Oh, how grand. However, here comes the story we know. A messenger arrived in Sihin County in the middle of the night, saying that a great star had fallen into a household. Upon investigation, it turned out to be true. Then the wife of the house gave birth to a son. The messenger found found it strange in his heart and took it back and raised him and he was Gangnam Chan. A Song Dynasty envoy saw him and without realizing it, bowed, saying it had been a long time since he last saw Mung Gong Song, but here it is now. So this is it. The story of Nak Song Dai is about being born, 
where the star fell. This isn't just a concoction. It's recorded as a fact in the history of Goryeo. That's how Bu much... Deng. He's a legend. Oh, and in the chronicles of Gangam Chan, broth reviews follow. Gangam Chan was known for his integrity and frugality, uh, paying little attention to, to household affairs. Great people of the past are uh, all here. Thrifty and not Youth having met. to take care of household They all lived as rich people. Atoll. It's a bit different from living in poverty. Still, uh, it's in not power, like uh, using to gain an unfair advantage. Strong it's command his own. was influential. But a very special story that only appears in the biography of Gang Gam Chan. You are the, the best. He had a small nose and an unattractive face. His clothes were dirty and worn, not any better than a, uh, an average person's. Being small and having an unattractive face. This isn't something that's usually recorded. Uh, really, even if someone is like this, it's not mentioned. Yet, Kang Gam Chan shared this story. Mm. Uh, is Choi Su Jong good at casting? Mm. It will be. Uh, isn't this a foreign country? Now, when standing solemnly in the court to face big issues and make policy decisions, became uh, the country's pillar and cornerstone because of its dangerous look. Their achievements stand out even more. At that time, the harvest was abundant and the people were Sadly stable. peaceful. No, everyone thought it was due to Kang Gam Chan's merit. Kang Gam Chan's um, strong point, you see. He achieved many feats. He won the Battle of Guizhou. But on top of that, it said he was a general loved by the people. It's because the country is doing well. People think it's all thanks to Kang Jangun. Uh, Kang Kong Du. Let us uh, appear I've this definitely way. thought about That's this. That's what it is. The general love by the people, I think this is most important. Shameful. Resign from office and moved to a villa in the south of the city to become a Paradise Island instructor. There was also a collection of writings, but I'm not passing that on now. So that's why uh, a moving narrative. It's made. Uh... There are tales of Gang Gamchan, such as the Falling Star, and. Naksundai tales, but there are several more after these. Now, the birth story, a star fell, and there are other stories like this too, uh, about uh, Gang Gamchan's father having a great dream. Depending on the version, there are also different stories. Gang Gamchan's father put in a lot of effort uh, to have a great son. Well, anyway, that was my father's effort on the way back to the headquarters. He must have thought he needed a son. That's when he met the fox woman and suddenly formed a relationship. It a was child Kang was born. Chan. Strange, isn't it? But such stories appear in the ancestral Many people were and born tales of heroes. A special bird. When telling this story, a fox woman makes an appearance like this. There's a story from when he was growing up. Kang Gam Chan was so handsome. They say it's impossible to accomplish any major task. Carrying Mama Shin to call on the face. Turned himself ugly by freezing the fire. Ah, Oof. this um, a spring-like feeling, isn't it? Uh, on the contrary, Taking right? Taking advantage. Too handsome to accomplish any major tasks. No, what do we do with this person? Oh, I'm in big trouble. You know. One day, the father didn't take his son, uh, Kang Gam Chan, to his friend's daughter's wedding because he found his son too ugly. That Kang Gam Chan secretly attended the wedding, taking the place of the groom. However, he drove out beasts. The groom was actually... It wasn't a person. He recognized and drove it out, showing this extraordinary act. After getting a position, Girl. when he was appointed as the chief, the bureaucrat disappeared. Being young... It's because it's cool. In the yard, set up a millet stock, Hey, you guys, try putting all those sorghum stalks into your sleeves. That's what happened. When they couldn't do it, not even sorghum stalks that had grown for just a year could fit into their sleeves. So a lord who had grown for 20 years, he shouted at them, asking if they were trying to stuff it into their sleeves and turned away. But this is a not dramatic historical dictionary. fact. How old was Mr. Kang when he was promoted? At rapidly? the age 36. of six. A 20-year-old master, it can't be made. Once wake up, when Kang Gam Chan was assigned to a district, Tarokashto, the frog noises were so loud that he gave the officials charms to throw into the pond, and the frog noises were never heard again. 
Besides, there are various myths like repelling mosquitoes, eliminating ants, and snapping lightning from the sky with hands. Anyway, extraordinary. It uh, highlights his compassionate side. But actually, the original protagonist of this story wasn't supposed to be Gangam Chan. There was originally a story like this, but the protagonist's name was removed and replaced with Gangnam Chan. Our Choi Bulam series was the Gangnam Chan series at that time. Why was this made? It's because Gangnam Chan was loved by the people. Mitha Choi Bulam is the national dad. Just as the Choi Bul Am series is created because of the love from the people, that's how the Kangam Chan series came to be. Among these conches, there's one with a bit of a skeleton. As mentioned in Yong Jia Chong Wa. Yong Jia Chong Wa is a book compiled by the early Joseon scholar, Seong Yun, containing a variety of genres and stories. This During the, the Korea dynasty, when Gangam Chan became the magistrate of Hanyang, there were many tigers in the area causing officials and citizens to gather in large numbers. Let, let's worry about it. This is so This now. is about Goryeo Dynasty There Seoul's were a lot of Pais. So if you're a Hanyang lady, he's the mayor of Seoul now. Let's worry. That's an easy task. Just wait three to four days and I will solve everything, he says, and writes on a piece of paper writing a letter. Write a letter like this, make it into a note and have the civil servant boost it at dawn tomorrow. Go to, to the northern village over there and you'll find an old monk sitting on a rock. Bring that person here. So Ajun went to the place Gangam Chan mentioned, and indeed he saw a man in shabby clothes with a white cloth headband made of pear skins. An old monk sits on a rock, greeting the dawn, holding a letter passed on by a messenger. Open this folding screen like this. Following the civil servant, they simply bowed their heads to betray General Gangam Chan. Then, suddenly Gangam Chan scolded the monk upon seeing him. Although I am but a beast, I too possess a spirit. How can I harm people like you? I will repay I you. will make a promise Move today. Move to another place with your ugly gang or else everyone... He said he would shoot to kill. Mm. And then suddenly the monk bowed his head and apologized. That's what happened. To you need. It seems like the judge laughed loudly and saw it Are wrong. you a monk? Uh... Saying hello. Mm. When Gangam Chan asked the monk to come as he was, a monk shouted loudly and then transformed into a big tiger, jumping onto the balcony and pillars, they say. They, the, the sound vibrated all the way outside and the lady lost her senses as if the ground was gone. Gangam Chan said, that's enough. The tiger turned back into its original form, turned into a monk and bowed politely. Retreated. Isn't it something like this? Don't do it. Wait. Uh, he said that to a tiger nearby. Now, when you need to send someone the next day to check out the Eastern Church, an old tiger led the way, followed by dozens of little tigers, crossed the river. Since then, there was no worry of being attacked by tigers in Hanyang. Citizens of Seoul, we should be grateful to General Gangam Chan. Now, there are no more tigers in Seoul from that moment. If it were Gangnam Chan Wan, he might not have seen Pukhan San. So I have told you the story of uh, uh, Kang Nam Chan, who was indeed short. The role of Kang Nam Chan must be played by someone unattractive, which is my unwavering opinion. It is faith. Let's not distort history with how we look. Enjoy watching the Goryeo Kitan War. Stimulation. It's a historical drama. Uh, enjoy while remembering that history is history. Hope you learned from the beneficial history. This has been beneficial history.